Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, appreciate this opportunity. I would like to talk about the current status of Japanese LCA communication and related activities, including the response to the environmental footprint. Uh, our organization, JEMAI, Japan Environmental Management Association for Industry, are currently operating two programs, EcoLeaf and Carbon Footprint. And this graph showing the cumulative number of the uh, both of program registration in each year. In 2002, ECOLIF was launched by JMI, and 2009, uh, Carbon Footprint Pilot Project was launched by METI, and uh, that was uh, privatized by uh, JMI in 2012. And now, in this year, we launched the uh, mid-term three years plan to increase the number to 4,500 levels. And this plan consisting of three or uh, five pillars. And uh, I'd like to talk about the first three fundamental pillars in this presentation. At first, uh, fulfillment of international consistency. At first, I should say that uh, these two programs are managed uh, by private association, JMI, and that's why I, we are always confirming the credibility relating to reliability and the transparency. And based on that, as for ISO standardization, of course, these programs are in conformance with relating ISO standards. And the further harmonization uh, are based on GetNet. That is consisting of several program holder of carbon footprint and type, and type 3 labeling. And uh, currently, a uh, Japanese proposal for uh, developing uh, the uh, PEFCR of IT equipment, IT equipment is adapted, was adopted by EU Commission, European Commission. And uh, I really appreciate this. And uh, the uh, proposal was submitted by the Japan, uh, consortium consisting of uh, Japanese uh, electricity uh, associations and uh, uh, Mizuho Research Institute and JMI. And this uh, proposal are based on CFP PCR and the corresponding CFPs. I hope this pilot will be a good first step to think, uh, con uh, to consider uh, further harmonization between uh, environmental footprint and our programs. Next pillar is unified operation of EcoLeaf and carbon footprint. Now these two programs is operating individually. Uh, of course, uh, EcoLeaf is a type three environmental level. Uh, in other words, fundamental LCA report card and the carbon footprint program is the tool to pursue to consumer communications. After several experiences, we decided to uh, unify those two programs. This year, we have already unified the uh, primary document of uh, each program. And the next year, uh, we will secure the consistency of uh, other programs all over the world. I, we, we, we will try it. And uh, in 2015, we will reconsider about the uh, adoption of a multiple environmental aspect in the full-scale manner. And we hopefully uh, launch a unified program in the year of 2016. And through these processes, uh, we, JMI, need to uh, keep a good uh, discussion with uh, various initiatives and programs we need to have a main concept of LCA communication for the future. And the third pillar is uh, improvement of awareness of carbon footprint and ecoreef and market receptivity. I would like to talk about several uh, a good example in several uh, sector, industrial sector. The first one is construction material sector. Uh, there is a governmental, a kind of governmental policy. In year of 2012, uh, METI and the Ministry of uh, Land Infrastructure and Transportation and the Ministry of Environment are 
uh, announced interim summary housing how to and how to live in towards a low carbon society. According to this uh, report, uh, zero emission in average of newly constructed house or building uh, supposed to be achieved by 2030 toward the realization of life cycle carbon minus housing in the final stages. And the main concept, one of the main concept is here. Uh, generally speaking, CO2 emission from uh, house or building, a uh, quarter of emission is from construction stages or and uh, discarding or recycling stages. So based on this fact or finding, uh, main approach is life cycle numerical approach, including development of uh, uh, evaluation, evaluation method of life cycle CO2 and other things. And uh, based on this uh, background, Japanese advanced companies are, have already registered the eco -leaf or carbon footprinting. And uh, another example is uh, printing sector. Uh, printing industry and or companies are uh, developed very smart schemes uh, in order to have their own carbon footprint in very cost-effective manner. One of the examples is uh, industrial association's approach. Uh, according to this approach, uh, belonging printing companies to the uh, belonging to the printing corporate association uh, can uh, quantify their quantify their own CFP using semi-automatic tools. And those CO2 were verified by printing corporate associations. And this quantification and verification scheme was certified at first by third party certification body. And through these processes, uh, printing companies uh, uh, can obtain their own CFP uh, in very cost effective manner. And another example is uh, company's approach. Uh, printing company, Rico, uh, giving the quantification service to client uh, companies. And the uh, client company can uh, apply for their own CFP to the program office in very cost-effective manner. And uh, there, are also, there are also good movement of uh, green procurement. Uh, MOE and METI uh, operating the green procurement scheme according to law on promoting green procurement since fiscal year of 2000. And they are continually, continually uh, being, uh, develop, updating the uh, evaluation criteria. And this is based on the concept of availability in market, which means uh, minimum requirement rather than the targeting the high level of environmental consciousness. And that's why uh, last year, uh, guidance, another guideline of development of premium, cri premium criteria uh, are developed. And uh, hopefully, uh, according to this guide guideline, uh, premium criteria are to be developed from now. And, and uh, this targeting is a very high level of consciousness to facilitate the uh, rating effort. And hopefully, uh, we will have uh, this uh, premium criteria uh, built in the evaluation criteria in several years. And the fundamental idea of the premium criteria is, again, life cycle approach. And that's why uh, MOE are recommending the types acquisition of type 3 or carbon footprinting. Uh, and this is not decided yet. And the uh, companies joining Ecolif and the CFP are considering, considering how to promote adoption of uh, the uh, type three or carbon footprint for each uh, premium criteria. And uh, there are several voices from food sector. Uh, the first one is flexibility of calculation scheme. Some of the pre, uh, applying company of carbon footprint uh, might be a retail, retailer. And we're uh, retailing uh, uh, the large effort should be put into the retailing stages rather than manufacturing stages. In this case, uh, probably a PCR requirement corresponding to the, uh, this uh, hot spot of uh, to effort. 
Okay. And uh, also, there is a voice uh, about a good balance between simplification and the credibility of third party, reliance of third party. And also, another voice is uh, necessity to make activities uh, more visible to consumers. And that's why uh, METI launched the Carbon Offset Point project to launch. According to this scheme, a uh, company uh, can uh, contribute to community, okay. So I don't have so much time, so this is, gen this is the general idea of this uh, scheme. At f from the viewpoint of company, at first, uh, each company can, uh, can obtain the CFP certification. At the second, uh, the company can obtain the offset certification. You can see the another mark of carbon offset certification. And a third uh, company is supposed to contribute to community. And we expect development of a local community result in the improvement of awareness. And uh, this uh, last year and this year, uh, METI is supporting the development of these schemes. And that's my uh, presentation. I appreciate for all of the companies and industrial associations for, for supporting Japanese programs. And thank you for your attention.